Hi, this is Ryan Orsinger with Removing Sensitive Information from Git History. Every so often, uh, this happens to folks, so we need a way out of this following scenario. Imagine that uh, you or somebody on your team has committed a file with something secret and sensitive inside of it to your Git history. Uh, this could be passwords, SSH key, API key, either way, uh, these credentials are toast. They're completely compromised at this point. So let's let's start fixing this. The first thing you need to do is obviously go into whatever system this is, change your password immediately. Uh, immediately lock off access to anybody who's managed to get a copy of this of this Git repo and its history. Okay. The first thing a lot of folks uh, think to do is let's delete the file. So we're going to delete the file locally. Uh, we'll add that file. We'll commit the fact that we deleted it. Remove secrets text credentials and we no longer have that file locally and when we push to our uh, remote here things look good at first but as Shakira says my commits don't lie and when we look at the history of commits we see that while the file is no longer in the current version of uh, the latest version of the repo, we see that the history is still there. We see that the original commit that accidentally sent up those comp those credentials, compromising them, is still in history. Okay, so uh, how do we get this fixed? So we're going to say how to remove a password from Git history. That's that's a great search to do. And look, hey, GitHub documentation. On the GitHub documents uh, documentation here, the, we've got two different tools. There's a, B, a open source tool called the BFG Repo Cleaner. Um, I don't feel like installing that right now, so I'm going to use a Filter Branch. It's a it's a tool built into Git, so let's use that. All right. So we've removed that file from the file system. Again, when we look at the Git log, we see that those commits are still there. Accidentally committed the secrets. Let's check out main and make sure uh, that we've got uh, a latest and greatest version of this repository, okay, locally. And the documentation says use, using filter branch. Uh, make sure you've got a fresh clone. If you don't have a local version already, then move into that repository. And here's a, a nice little command that we're going to run with the filter branch. We can copy this and we'll put this in a nice little text editor. Uh, these uh, forward slashes at the end are, are there to keep us from having a, a new line character breaking everything. So let's kind of get all of that on one line if we can. Git filter branch, force index filter, git rm cached, ignore path. And the documentation says path to your file with sensitive data should be re replaced with the path and file name. So the, my file name was in the current folder secrets.txt was in the main folder here of this repository. So I'm going to copy that. And just like the, the documentation says, path your file with sensitive data. So if your, if your sensitive file with sensitive data is in a subfolder, subfolder, you got to provide the path in there. Okay. Let's go and run this from our, from our terminal. We get a warning that there are a lot of gotchas with git filter branch. I feel comfortable that we're running uh, a command given to us uh, from good documentation. Okay, this claims that the we get a, a, me a message that the rewrite of these two commits, these two commits that touch that file, happened. I don't want to take uh, take it take anything on faith. So we see that we've got the current file system right now, and the main and the tip of the branch is is removed. But when we look at the Git history, we see that these two commits. Remember, I had two different commits here, a commit for adding that secrets.txt and another commit for deleting that secrets.txt. Those are gone. So we have rewritten history, Git history locally. So there's not a commit I can check out. And if I try and, gosh, if I try and grab this, this rewrite right here or grab the, the first commit, git check out that commit, right? It, we see that that, com, that that history is there, but that file is no longer there. That's fabulous. Okay, what next? Let's pull up the docs. We overrided, uh, I'm sorry, we overwrote history, right? And now we need to make sure that if we use uh, secrets.txt again in this repository, that it is git ignored. And, and we'll, we'll, we will be creating a git ignore file to do that. To create a git ignore file, echo the file name, secrets.txt, in quotes, 
uh, double angle bracket into dot git ignore. Okay, that creates a dot git ignore file, which tells git, hey, git ignore this. So we've got to add, commit, and push that git ignore. Here's what we do after we've made our commits uh, for the git ignore and filtered the branch. We do git push origin force all. Let's copy that right out of the docs. And I don't have any tags on this project, but if you had any tags on this project, you would do the same thing to remove mentions of that sensitive file or the file with sensitive information from, from your tags. Okay, and so after we get push origin double dash force tags and push origin double dash force all branches, what we see on the repo, folks, check this out. This is beautiful. When we go to our commits, those commits that contain the password are gone. So even if we look at through the history, we can't see them. They're gone. We only see the program. We only see the readme. We only see the license. And that's it. Your repo is now safe. And um, at this point, because our git ignore exists with that appropriate file name inside, uh, we can now create a secrets.txt file or move a secrets.txt file into this repo and then it will be completely ignored and we won't have any risk of adding it or committing it or pushing it. Uh, my name is Ryan Orsinger. Thanks so much. Happy coding.